Hi, I'm Nancy with Factory Direct Crafts, and today we're making cookie cutter photo ornaments. I really like how these turned out. I know if you do it of your children, they're going to love it too, to see that on the tree. So what you need is some various kinds of cookie cutters. You need some uh, really thin ribbon that's going to be the tying thing on top of your ornament. And you need some photos and scissors. And I have the ultimate crafter's pick glue here. It dries fast and it's thick enough so it's going to work good. Okay, so first thing I need to do is trace my picture here. And I'm going to use the star one. So I want to place that just how I want it to be in the ornament. And you better do it right the first time because your picture is going to be ruined if you mess up. So do it really carefully. Trace it. And the fact that you're tracing on the outside of the metal cookie cutter, that'll make the photo just, you know, it'll be just a little bit bigger than the cookie cutter. Okay? And that's a, that's a good thing. All right. So now I'm going to carefully cut that out on the line. You can always trim more off, but you can't put it back. What I always figure. So I'm staying right on the line. We have several ornaments on the tree of our girls growing up at different ages and they're always special when we get those out and put them up. To see all those old pictures. Okay. Now, all we've got to do is put the glue or carefully around that very edge. In fact, I'm going to put it on the cookie cutter. I think that's a better idea. And I'm going to use, let's see. There we go. Just a little bit, enough to hold this. Another idea too for this is you can buy, uh, Christmas papers, you know, the like scrapbooking papers, and glue that in here too. And those look really cute. So you kind of just let your imagination go figuring out what to put inside your cookie cutters. And you know what I'm going to do before I stick this onto the photo? I'm going to run my ribbon through here. Because once I glue this, I don't want to have to mess with that, do I? So I just run it through, cut it, tie the knot. There we go. And there. Okay, and center that knot then and it's getting a little bit of glue on it. That's a good thing too. It'll hold it in place. I'm going to put a little work right on the end. Okay, now I'm going to carefully place this over the picture and it should just go right to the edges. Yes, it does. Perfect. And there you have it. Just let it dry carefully for an hour or so and you'll be ready to go. Thanks for watching.